Usually, we prepare a script for Nintendo Direct, and we have editors put various cuts together, but this time, I'd like to take more of a live stream approach and present it myself. He's freeballing it, people! He's freeballing it! We don't have much of a budget for this. While I discuss, I'll be playing with the controller as well. Sakurai is like, you enjoy it. doing this live, unscripted, this is unheard of. But before we get into it, I should mention that the Dragon Quest series began... For all you uncultured people, it's an iconic Japanese role -play. here is it be Dragon Quest, which has been around for 30 years. ...popularized RPGs in Japan, and beyond that, it's a top-notch game that's become a cultural phenomenon. The latest entry in the series is Dragon Quest XI S. Sakurai's like, for those of you who have never heard of this game, and you're complaining about why this character's in the game, here you go. Today, I'll be playing the development version of the ROM, so there may be parts where the camera seems different from the version you have at home. I hope you understand. Wait, is he playing Dragon Quest, or is he playing Smash? I also have a bad feeling we're gonna see a Geno me costume. I think to some, this scene alone might seem pretty astonishing. This one is the hero from Dragon Quest XI S, mm -hmm. the one that's releasing soon. The 16 year old was dubbed the Darkspawn, and he wields a weapon called the Supreme Sword of Light. Future Trunks, now for we the know. Hero from Dragon Quest III. This is the hero Erdrich. Goku, so we got Future Trunks, we got Goku. He's equipped with Erdrich's sword. Actually, in 3 and 11, the hero's shield designs are almost identical. Dope. So we've changed them up a bit. It's all in the details. Next, the hero from Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. This 17-year-old kid trunks. Ancestor He's got the greenish hair. Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. He's equipped with the Zenithian sword. Lastly, the hero from Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of and, the Curse. And I don't know. And I'm out of Dragon Ball characters. Is affected by the curse. Hello. He's in his pocket. And as a former I'm playing him. Guardsman, he's equipped with the Dragovian King Sword. That said, he's got a little a mouse in his pocket. Using just the name Hero. So if you want to refer to each of them individually, here are their names. The Hero from 11S is 11. Ah, uh, finally! This makes me feel so much better. The Hero from 4 is Solo, and the Hero from 8 is 8. You can use these names to reference them if you'd like. Also, they each have a color variation. Put their names in the game. The coloring and design okay. of variations are based on characters from the series. Can you guess who they are? No. These are pretty dope, though. Good, good color variations. This is actually the very first time that the heroes from the Dragon Quest series have been able to fight each other. It was allowed to finally happen in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and for that, I am very grateful. I want to know more about, and he's going to tell us about the, uh, the MP meter. Each hero has a different voice actor. And I'd like to introduce them now. Here they are. The hero from 11 is Mitsuki Saiga. This hero speaks in 11S, but the action in this game is different, so her voice acting needed a bit more oomph. The hero from 3 is played by Nobuyuki Hiyama. You might say the King of Braves is playing the hero, but he voiced Link in the original Super Smash Bros. and Super Smash Bros. Melee games. So you could say he was already a hero. He's definitely a pro. This is now, legit. All the voice actors, his recording session went the fastest. The hero from 4 is voiced by Takeshi Kusao. He's a veteran voice actor and asked for a lot of detail on the backstory of his character. And this has carried over into his performance. They went all out from with this presentation. It was apparently a dream of his to do voice work for the Super Smash Brothers and the Dragon Quest series. So he was happy to have both dreams come true at once. You want to see Goku's voice actor? He voice he literally voices Lucario for the first time and calling out the spell names is also the series first. Now, let's get a look at Alright, let's see what this uh this dude can do. The animations are a bit more energetic than the standard sword users, since we aim to match the style of Akira Toriyama. They just brought up the goat Akira Toriyama. Sometimes the hero smash attack results in a critical hit. It happens at random, but when it does. Oh, they can crit, that's dope. These critical hits actually match the look of the critical hits in various installments of the series. 
Not the subtle nuances. So it's completely RNG based. The shield, which can block various projectiles. His forward tilt is a shield bash attack that can also be used to block projectiles. Nice. Everyone who's hating on the hero right now is like, oh, but he's like Link. Frizz. Frizzle. And for Frizz. Yo! This is a big fireball. You can stop your charge in the middle by shielding, and then you can resume charging again. Then, you could store the full charge until you're ready to unleash it at any time. However, even if you've charged up a Kafriz, nothing will happen if you don't have enough MP at the time. Oh. Just a fart cloud comes from your hands. Enter the command quickly for a zap, which is a good way to keep opponents in check. Hold it down a little longer for a zap, which has a I'm getting some strong Robin vibes from the hero. You'll let loose a Kazak. Each of these spells can use your sword with lightning to power up your attacks. Next is the Woosh family of spells, which can be used for recovery. Performing a short up special results in a Woosh. Charging it a little bit results in a Swoosh. And charging it up all the way results in a Kaswoosh. Woosh, Swoosh, Kawoosh! You can only store a charge with Frizz type spells. A Woosh is fairly stunted, requiring only a little MP. A swoosh actually provides a bit more lateral movement. A kaswoosh allows you to recover even if you fall pretty far. So you can only hold on to neutral B. Also, which makes spells sense. Can blow enemies into the air. That way, you can interfere with opponents. Next is Hero's Down Special, Command Selection. His Down Special pulls up a random list of commands. Doing so allows you to use a spell or other move. Oh, it's completely random? It raises your attack power. With a fully charged smash attack. So how many can he have? How many spells are there? Now for Psycho. It increases the power of your next attack. Nice. The difference between this one and Oom is that it can only be used once, but the effect lasts until your attack finishes, even if you miss. Next up, Bounce. It reflects Reflect. your opponent's spells and other projectiles. If you both cast Bounce, this will happen. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be fun, especially with K rules belly. Sorry, what word was that? Oh, this guy that's listening. He'll let you reduce your damage percentage. Hmm, I don't Flame know that. Flame slash can spread damage to a wide area in front of you. The crackle slash can freeze opponents. Accelerator significantly increases your speed. Uh oh, we got another shulk on our hands. Kaboom sets off a mighty explosive spell. Snooze puts so this is dope, and they have, what, like, eight spells to choose from, or six spells? Maybe more? And then there's oh, there's more. This fearsome spell could potentially KO an opponent in one hit. However, the opponent's damage percentage will ultimately determine the effect. So if their damage percentage is low, it's less likely to activate. Zoom. Whoa! It's a big jump. Um, this looks pretty dope. The only thing that, I guess, kind of makes it hard to, to use some of these spells is the fact that they're RNG-based. Because you don't know what you're going to get. When you cast a spell, you become impervious. But I guess they're so strong that it makes sense. Watch out for a metal slash. Oh, he just hakai him. Skill that can KO a metal opponent in one hit. Hocus Pocus is a spell. With <laughs> Hocus Pocus. Effects. Oh, looks like it slowed me down. But not Dude, play with only Hocus Pocus. Just completely random effects all the time. Magic first. As you can see. My MP is depleting rapidly because the spell uses all your remaining MP to deal massive damage. Just pull up Majin Vegeta. 
The amount of MP you have will determine how effective it is. And finally, Kamikaze. This spell produces an extremely powerful explosion. Oh no, I'm sorry, this one is the Maja Vegeta. And you, you actually die using it. In fact, of all the fighters, Hero has the highest number of them in the game. I'm pretty hyped for this. Not gonna lie, this is by pressing the R sick. That way, you can try again and hope for a different set of spells. That's his final smash, Giga Slash, and it's no mere Kazak. This move calls upon all the past protagonists to lend the hero their power for one mighty blow. This attack has a high vertical range. Just like uh, Mega Man's Final Smash. Got all the heroes coming out. Yes, let us see them in action. The command selection move. Yeah, we had like 16, 18 spells. It was crazy. It's hard to imagine how it works. So I'll fight a CPU opponent for a while. I'm fighting at Yggdrasil's altar. I'm the hero from This stage is pretty neat. You is the hero from 4. The stage starts off on this platform, which begins to rise. You can use Sakurai shielding and rolling a lot. I'll use Zappo from a distance. Look at this. I can beat him. <laughs> the CPU's counterattacks are pretty good. I think I'll try a command selection. Snooze. Good stuff. Kaboom. I'm a little low on MP, so I'm going to attack to refill it. But Come on, Sakura, use some ledge guarding. Do something. Nice. Ooh, disrespect. I never thought I would ever be commentating Sakura playing Smash. Critical hit. Heal. I'll go ahead and use Accelerator. And the final smash. I'm ridiculously excited for this. Better come out this week. Hope I can finish him off. Nice. Oops, I used Hatchet Man. Check out the little back. slime just chilling in the background. Oh. Platform. Is he going to do it? Ooh, he got me. He just... It just took a final smash to the face. <laughs> in these free-for-all battles, it's pretty... Oh, is this going into overtime? Oh, time's up. We're going to sudden death? Nah. He wouldn't do that to us. This stage is called Yggdrasil's Altar, and it's based on a location... And it has the Infinity Stones. One difference is that the platform rises, which is very Super Smash Brothers. We're passing close by Cetacea. After that, we'll be able to see all of Erdrea. Stage is pretty simple. I like it. The giant tree in the back. Nothing too complicated. Point in Dragon Quest XI-S. You can see. Who's that dude? Who is that dude? Is out there. Some sort of platform will appear. We just passed Arborea, and you can see what looks like a rainbow bridge. And now we pass Havens above. You can tell by the uh, the buildings and the architecture. This is super, super Akira Toriyama. Like, in Smash. You'll see slimes appear in the background. But sometimes, you'll see liquid metal slimes appear too. Those are really rare. I like this god whale just flying around. We 
we draw near to the giant tree. As we make our way up the tree. What happens? We can see a light, which also appears in Dragon Quest XI-S. And then we finally make our way back around. By the way, there's something over here. Sometimes a treasure chest. Oh, cool! Is at the stage, as you can see here. Are they gonna? I guess items will drop out of them, or maybe an explosion. Yeah. Get an item. That's cool. That's neat. But it could also be a trap. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. Don't do it! No, don't do it! Ouch. It was a mimic. It's a mimic. If you try your hardest, you might defeat it. Oh, you can kill. You can just. This mimic's just chilling, and you're gonna come ruin its day. Damn. You'll get an item. Okay, so you get an item. Either way. Although Yggdrasil's altar is based on the world of 11S, I felt it would be unfortunate to have only one or two songs from that game. So instead, we decided to compile a collection of field and battle tunes for each hero. Nice. Here's what it looks like. I don't know anything about any of these games, but it's nice that they're catering to not only the recent Dragon Quest XI S. Of course, you can also enjoy them by using the sound test feature. You won't be able to select the famous prelude that way, but the end of the prelude will play over the hero's victory screen. We've also added other content, including something for the Spirit Board, so please look out for that as well. I'm waiting for them to show off everything that's coming. Oh! He's coming out today! If you have the fighter's pass, you should be able to get him. He's coming out now! We're also planning to make him available individually for $5.99. I got a lot of content to record. We're also adding in new Mii Fighter costumes. Please take a look. Maybe we won't be playing Fire Emblem tonight. Don't! Please don't show us Gino! Don't do it! Don't do it! It's coming. It, Gino's coming, and I'm very scared. Alright, maybe we're not playing Fire Emblem tonight. We're playing Smash. He very well might be out right now. This is dope. The Erdrick Sword Fighter's dope. This looks like this looks like Yamcha in Dragon Ball. Slime hat, I I just know it's coming. Please don't. Don't do it to me. Don't kill me on stream. No, I think we're okay. I think we're safe. I think my emotions are intact. Nah, we good, we good. Square Enix didn't kill me right now. Also available today. Along with Hero, the version 4.0 update will also be available. And what's coming with that? Ooh. There Final Smash time limit, limit time Smash meter. meter thing. That'll make it harder to use your attack range to play a waiting game. So I think it's better to just use your Final Smash when it's ready. It will stick around for a while, and you'll be able to tell how That's cool, and that was much needed, so you don't just hoard your Final Smash. But is that toggleable? We're also adding a very easy difficulty to Adventure Mode. So if a battle's just <laughs> adventure Mode was too hard for some people. If you simply want to have a relaxing time playing, please try it out. Oh, some fun betting. Another new feature will let you try and predict the winner of the spectator. All right, we got another video coming. Then you can exchange the points you accumulate for an item. Another spectating video coming. Wrong. There's nothing to lose, so I suggest supporting fighters to your heart's content. Nothing to lose. Oh. Oh. An online tourney mode will also. Be okay. To enter an in-game tourney. All, you have to All right, do we are doing an online tourney. Maybe we'll do it tonight. I hope you enter these tourneys over and over. 
Unless it's like we also only from Nintendo. What's more, there are other new additions, like being able to insert screenshots into the videos you edit. This is awesome. And being able this is to everything. Play videos that have been added to shared content. Plus, there are new amiibo available now. Isabel. Speaking of which, who is the next raid boss? Is it one of these three? Each one will be well, it's not Isabel because we did that already. It's not Pokemon Trainer. Is it Pichu or is it not Pichu? Finally, the fighter known as Hero will be distributed soon, but Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition will be I'm hyped right now. It comes out today. They're going to crash the servers tonight. We tried a live stream like format this time, but I'm still not sure if we will do this every time a new fighter is released. Regardless, do it for Banjo, you cowards. See you next time. All right, it's confirmed. 4.0 absolutely slaps. And we're going to go download the hero hopefully right now. So I will catch you guys later.